Hello everybody, it's your favourite English captain, and no, I'm not talking about Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar, I'm talking about me, Tonic TZW. I may not be your favourite, alright, but hey, I've got to be up in like the top 99% somewhere, yeah. Um, but hey, I couldn't leave the Akazuki sat on the shelf after the other video that I uh, put on the channel of that. This one is simply titled Destroyer Destroyer Spreading the Plague with the Black Death. And I do run a full shadow camo on this as I do most of my tier 7 destroyers. And this is truly going to be a nightmare of the plague spreading around this map for Red Team's destroyers. We are on Land of Fire. It is domination mode. There are four destroyers, no cruisers, and six battleships. That is Torpedo Central for all these destroyers, and all the battleship captains are probably cursing under their breath at this very moment in time about the fact that what is it with matchmaking? It's always destroyers, destroyers, destroyers when I'm in my battleship. Well, yeah, how do you think we feel in our destroyers when it's nothing but radar cruisers, you know, and HE spammers that can hit us? you know point blank with a reload every half a second yep it's not nice sometimes you've just got to take a bite of that ship sandwich and crack on with it now i have got a cup of tea here so i may mute my mic every now and then but um i always say domination mode caps are king this is where the points are you get in here if you can't take it or contested safely then at least try to prevent red team from taking it completely so i'm pushing in i've got two battleships behind me i'm pinging them up to sort of say yep yeah, over here this is where they are we're looking for that cap to start turning and it is going to start turning very very soon now i'm confident in this boat's abilities as a gunboat apart from the fantask um, which I've been practicing with myself. I'm not overly scared of anything that is out there, apart from being out detecting torpedoes. So there we go. We get the Mars out detected. So we are going to go straight guns onto him, let him finish his turn into broadside, and we're going to go to Pound Town on him because this is a rapid reload. I know he disappears behind there, but he is spotted. And I know the battleships are out there, but I'm thinking they're engaged with our two battleships behind us. But look, my guys are putting fire onto the destroyer. I couldn't believe it. I popped my smoke just to bait some torpedoes in. He's on fire. I don't need to fire my guns again. But um, yeah, we may as well get rid of him, eh? There we go. First blood. One destroyer out of four gun off this map. Now, if you look across the B cap, right behind the battleships on B cap is a Gajamaja. Now, he did start on A. He didn't even try to do anything on that cap. He has sailed all the way back behind the islands, come all the way around. He's now going to sit behind B, not assist on B, and he's going to come all the way to this side of the map. Now, somebody said they don't like me calling people out, but tell me, why the heck has he done that? He has, hasn't even attempted to support the other destroyer that's on cap with him. And that's going to allow the Kagero that's out there to have an absolute field day. Two destroyers against one, you know, get in there, smack him around. Then you can have that cap and you can play with those battleships. I'm taking this cap. I can see that there's two destroyers out there in the center on B. The destroyer that spawned there is doing the right thing. He's trying to keep it safely contested. They've got that guy spotted. I've got this cap. The two battleships behind me can crack on and do their own thing. I am going to go and try and get rid of these destroyers from this cap as well. Because the less destroyers there are on this map, the less torpedoes there are. This Akatsuki does not stand a chance and he goes out for kill number two of the four destroyers in this game the cap is now ours for the taking the destroyer that's been doing a really good job and he's traded about half his hit points there um, for the sake of contesting that cap he's in there now he's going to have some points for it and i'm going to sail in and help to turn this cap a little bit quicker now that Odin off there on my left 
he did start out here somewhere. Um, I think he started on B cap. And he has sailed all the way around behind C. Um, I don't know why he's run away. But um, such is life. But he's the guy that the Gajamaja is going to chase. The Gajamaja is not even going to help on this cap look. He's just sailed completely through it to go after that Odin. And the only thing I can think is these two guys were trying to sink drop into the same game so that he can get some um, kills on his destroyer towards his legendary mod. That's the only thing I can think of. Why would two ships completely leave wherever they are, go all the way to one side of the map, exactly where each other are, and then it's like, bang, gone. I don't think that Odin even shoots at him. He's literally point blank in front of him. There we go. He gets himself a dev strike. I don't know what was going on there, but it certainly smells a little bit fishy to me. There is our Fantask, the only ship I was worried about getting into a gunfight with, but we know we haven't beat on reload, so we're just going to try and go volume of fire. He knocks out a turret, he gets me on fire. I'm not going to repair that, I'm going to let it burn, because if he gets me on fire again after this, I am shafted. He is playing this well, he's bow tanking me, but there is fire coming in from elsewhere. We are staying on these guns, we've hit our repair. One more salvo, come on, let's get it done. One more salvo. RNG blesses us with the third out of four destroyer kills in this game. I was expecting torpedoes. The Akazuki is a great gunboat. But it certainly does not play as agile or as fast as some of the smaller stealthier boats and certainly not of some of the other nations. Those guys across there on my left, they are carrying out their slugfest. The Gajamaja is now going after the two other battleships that are back there on the map. Um, yeah, I don't think he's interested in... Um, in the aims of domination at all um legendary mod missions they've completely trashed this game further than it was already trashed but we are located we know roughly where the kagero is there is i think it's a brandenburg back there kagero dev strikes one of the battleships that went sailing through b towards those guys at the back but they could split left or right it was up to them the destroyer has gone out with them as well so all three ships from b cap have now pushed through onto uh, a cap one of them's dead and that kagero is going to have a field there and uh, yeah i know now that i'm not located that the brandenburg is closest i'm looking at the points we do have a significant lead but cap's king and caps are where the base xp is and base xp is always good for games and it's always good for credits so i'm going to try and keep tracking this guy and i'm going to push into this cap because if we stop red team from getting any more points then they need to fight us harder to win i'm expecting torpedoes i do get located i literally can't have more than what a couple of hundred meters detection on him there we go we get him spot on and look he's the closest target to me but my gun sight won't lock on absolute shambles i probably missed the opportunity for three or four salvos there because of the mechanics of this game completely screwing me around it's like we don't want to let you get this one tonic we um we want you to have a bit more of a fight because you've had it easy so far but have i had it easy I went in, I played my cap, I contested my cap, I got rid of a destroyer, I then went through and played the other cap because nobody wanted to play it apart from the DD that was trying to do his best to contest it. I'm now across here, all the way on the other side of the map on C cap. Now the Gajamaja may have got two kills across there before he died himself, but what else did he achieve? I don't know. I'm here now taking the cap that he should have fought. The only other destroyer left on our team is the guy that started on B. He's way out there at the back. I'm thinking I've got more than enough time to take this cap because there's uh, three ships left in the game. The battleship that was behind me is running. I've got four seconds. 
three two one. There he is in his U Lane, New Jersey. Now he's coming towards me, so I'm going to go away. But at the same time, I'm uh, going to drop him a little present across there. So on three kills, there's three ships left in the game. My three kills are three destroyers. And the end game tally of base XP is going to show you that it is easier to rack up a massive amount of base XP off smaller ships than it is trying to knock 50,000 hit points off a big ship. Here we go. I'm watching for those torpedoes going. I'm going to put another set out there. I know I'm located by the Kagero and we are going to run into him very soon. I'm trying to get these guns around. They're not the fastest. The rear turrets do take a while to turn. We get a torpedo on that guy, but um, he damage controls the flood, and I'm going away from him. We get bumped by the Kagero again. We've already done him some mischief. Now we are going to go at him again. He slams on the brakes because he knows he's detected but mate you may have um, good guns on that but your reload is a lot longer than mine he's already fired one set of torpedoes I imagine the next set is going to come through the smoke but we got to stay guns four destroyers started on red team and this is every single one of them racked up on my kill list Critical engine damage. the Iowa picks up the New Jersey that the destroyer has been chasing around for quite some time so sadly I didn't get him with a flood it would have been a nice Kraken but the game ends there 76,000 damage, first blood, 4 kills, 140 odd gun hits, only 2 torpedo hits, so uh, we, you know, it's not a torpedo boat, it is a gun boat. 2 caps, couple of defends, and we end up there, top of the board, 3,611 base XP. The Ganjamaja finishes 3rd for his 2 kills, but really, what he was thinking, what he was doing, I don't know at all but if you want a gun boat that's quite stealthy have a look at the akatsuki if you want to know more about my build on that boat check one of my other videos if you enjoyed that one don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash the like button leave me a comment and uh, click on one of these links and watch another video while you're here until next time i've been admiral nelson take care goodbye